So I'm getting this nice effect by starting the chords and melodies out on the dry side of the blend. And then after I've let it rung out for a little bit, I bring in the granular side of it so that I get this nice kind of trailing pad sound on the end of the notes. Now it'd be nice if I had three hands so that I could be playing chords and melodies with two hands and then messing around with this knob with the other hand. But lacking that, something I can do as a next best option is I can put some modulation on the blend parameter. And this is probably gonna take a little bit of playing around to get it to work right. And now I can do the thing where I start scanning through the sample to pick up different grains along the way. Another thing I could do here is I could record a little pattern using these steps, and then I could start doing the same idea of scanning through the sample and shortening the window and scanning through the entire sample and seeing what I pick up. So let's give that a try. <laughs> okay, it's not exactly Beethoven, but it's something and gives us something to work with. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot to explore. By tapping into this idea of cascading notes or cascading octaves, whatever we want to call it. And that brings me to the end of this little series of working with samples with the Texture Lab. And if you have any questions, 
or ideas for things you want me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. All right, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon and goodbye for now.